Hello and welcome to the uh, second tutorial on Microsoft Excel. In this one, I'll be showing you how to add in the average and standard deviation formulae here into this data table. As you can see, I've already got data. Uh, notice that it's all rounded to the correct uh, or the um, same level of precision. In this case, I've got one decimal place. And I've actually already set it up so that this is already rounding to one decimal place. So in this cell here, we're not going to want to tell Microsoft Excel to average all of these numbers up. It's pretty easy. I just click the equal sign in here and then type in the word average. And then um, open a brackets, that's shift nine. And then select the cells that you want to average. Again, you can click and drag. And all the way over here to trial nine as well. And uh, then I can just hit return. And it's done. 531.3. It's that easy. Little green triangle here shows us that this is actually being calculated. This isn't just a number that somebody's typed in. If I move up here into this cell again, you'll see the formula right up here. Equals average D5 colon through L5. You might remember that that D5 references the column and the row number. So this cell here is D5. And then um, L5, as is referenced up there, is L and 5 right here, trial 9. So you can see that the colon here actually means, okay, from cells from D5 all the way through L5, you're going to average those cells. Pretty easy. I can go ahead and do it again. Equals, average, doesn't have to be capitals. Now, and I can even type it in myself if I want. So I can say D6, D6, colon, all the way through uh, trial 9, which is going to be L15. L15. Oh, no. I can see that's wrong. Obviously, because you can see here, this box is now way bigger than I intended it to be. And of course, I said L15. Well, that's not right. It's D6 through L6. Of course, you knew that. You're just watching me make a mistake and laughing at me, weren't you? Well, there we go. It's all set. Now, Excel, as I've said, is pretty clever. So what I can do is I can actually also just hit Command C and then select the cells that I want to paste the formula into and say Command V. And notice that it's actually shifted the range, that is, this bit right here, in accordance with how I've moved the formula. So this one here, you'll see it's the fives, this one's the sixes, this one's the sevens, and this one's the eights. Pretty sweet. I only need to type this in once and it'll do the rest for me. So let's do that with standard deviation. Standard deviation is just as simple as before. It's just a different command. So I type the equal sign, that's telling Microsoft Excel that I'm about to put a formula in. And then the formula is STDEV for standard deviation. Open the brackets, and it tells you what to do. What's the first number? What's the second number? We're going to use the colon. We can click and drag, making sure that we select the right cells. Notice I'm only going to the trial, so I'm not including the average. Then I can just hit return, and it's done. I could do that again, equals. S T D E V. Open parentheses. I could click here. I could hold Shift, and I could click here, and it's got the range for me right there. Oh wow! Look at that. That's pretty snazzy. I've never seen that before. But there we go. I hit return, and it's done. I could do it by typing it. Equals S T D E V. Open brackets. I'm going to go from D seven. D7, I don't need it to be capitalized, colon, all the way through L7, L7, hit return, it's done. I could do it through the copy-paste method. Oh, and by the way, this little thing right here, the box that we used to copy and paste the trials over, it's the same thing for the standard deviation, so I just have to click and drag, and it's all done. Beautiful. Standard deviations, averages, all rounded to the right level of precision. Notice that if I select all these and I increase the number of decimal places, boom, 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 this goes on forever. Well, almost. Because it's calculating it to an almost infinite level of precision. I don't want that, though. I want all that to be one decimal place. And now I've messed up all this, but you may remember my sneaky trick where if I select all the columns that I want to resize, and then double tap on the width thing, it's going to resize it all perfectly so it fits. Very nice.
to me. This is a bit jammed. I don't love that. And that is it for calculating the averages and standard deviations. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make a bar graph with error bars. See you then.